everybody, it's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. It's the day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And you guys, it has been uh, a very long time since we've done any kind of uh, craft kit for a does this thing really work? But my bestie, Kat, showed me this being done on TikTok the other day, and it looked so fun, so like relaxing in a way that I decided I had to just order it. But it is the Crayola Eraser Maker. Yeah, it looks like we're even gonna have the ability to make these super cool like tie-dye effect kind of things. So basically what you're making is the cutesy pencil top eraser things. So you guys, to do this today, I've got three camera angles. This one, the normal second camera angle. And then just in case we need it, you guys, I've got a third camera angle on my little Jeep tripod. If you guys have been here for a very long time, you may remember Jeep tripod. I used to film out for the days and firework videos with a little tripod on a Jeep. Anyway, you guys, um, I have got to confess to y'all, I did already open up the box and read the instructions because we all know I have a tendency to do things wrong. It actually seems super duper easy. So I do think that this is just gonna be like a fun and relaxing craft today. But I know it is like really a time. Like you've gotta do it all in three minutes or less. I'm gonna have to do less talking once we actually start like modeling the compounds together. Anyway, you guys, I swore I was gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna get a tray. Ooh, wow. This is a loud airplane outside. Yes, there we go. This is like some kind of extruder. How would you call that? Guys, this little cutty thing I got on Timu, I have now used it a thousand and one times. Compound, yes. Is this also? the compound? That does not look like a lot. Crayola. Crayola. All right. We've got blue. We've got yellow. What do you want to bet? I bet the next one's red. I did see like once you get to an advanced level of eraser making, they said you can uh, combine the compounds to make like orange, purple, whatever. Although they really do not give you a lot. Okay. I'm just there we go. Crayola pencils. Pre-sharpened pencils? So we won't be using these until tomorrow because I did see to actually be able to erase with the erasers. They say that the longer you wait, the more patience you have, the more you will be rewarded with a better performing eraser. Now, y'all have to let me know if you do or don't have guilt associated with actually using a pencil top eraser. I'm not sure if I've ever used a pencil top eraser to erase in my life. Unless it's those standard little conical shaped ones, then I don't feel guilty about it. But if it's an eraser with a face, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, it needs eyes as much as I do. You gotta activate it to cure the erasers. So that is what this like gray sludge is. Then those are, I don't know what they call the other stuff. These little tops here are to put the holes into the eraser to kind of like push the compound down into the mold and then, you know, make it so you can shove a pencil in there. And then here are beautiful molds. This one is the one I saw on TikTok. Super cute. It is a strawberry. As I show you guys the molds, I'm gonna go ahead and neatly stack them over here. Yes. Uh, this is the one I am most excited about. Oh, is it frowning on the other side? My God. That's the side I'm gonna be erasing. Um, but this reminds me, you know, it gives me like Joe Boxer kind of vibes. Do you guys remember ye old Joe Boxer? Does that still exist? We also have, is this a muffin or a mushroom? Then we have, is this a snail? And then we've got, what is this? It looks like it has horns. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a fish. And then we've got this, oh, cake slice. There we go. 
Ha! We're ready! Three cameras rolling, yes. Uh, so, because this is the one that made me want to test this kit out, you guys, we are going to do strawberry first. So the first thing you do is slide it, right? It is supposed to slide. Yes! <gasps> Look at that. So you just put this here for the time being. Ta-da! Uh, so step one is to take this activator, the gray stuff. Yes, it's delicious. Place your bets now. Do you guys think that this is gonna smell nasty? Because I think that it will. Oh my god, you guys, this is like if you have to peel gum off of your shoe. So they do say to take the activator first, and we're gonna be filling up this large well over here. So that's this one. Um, let me zoom you guys in here so you can see this. So they say, I don't know why I have it like away from me. Oh, so y'all can see. Hello. They say it's supposed to be flush to the top. You're supposed to fill it and you just keep doing that. Yes. Oh, it feels like the longer you touch it, once you get over the initial shock of like, oh, that feels nasty. It's actually quite relaxing. And then you peel it out. And they say, you know, just stick it over to the side. So I'm gonna try and not do a fancy one right off the bat because that makes sense. Then you're supposed to take an equal amount of this. Now I think it's okay that I'm not doing this within three minutes time probably as I'm just pulling these out of here, you know? I think you're only on the three minute clock once you start mixing the compound or whatever, this red stuff with the activator stuff. So I'm about to just speed run this. There might not be a lot of talking, but I know if you kind of like let it get too dry or whatever, you know, um, if it starts to like do whatever it does, you can't really extrude it through this little tube to press it into the mold, which is no good, you know? So we're gonna just peel this out of here. Yes, yes, I've got two of these. This one feels really sticky. This one honestly feels kind of like wet and oily almost. Uh, so let's just stop talking and start squishing. And I'm gonna do it lightning fast, fast, fast. I would almost like be more okay if it had a little bit of an uneven marbled texture versus like not being able to extrude it. You guys cannot see me rolling. They do say like roll it, you know, thin enough so you can fit it in the tube. You guys, the only thing this kit is lacking is scented. You know, imagine if this was strawberry scented. All right. Oh dear. Y'all, there's no way that that was three minutes, but look at that. That's all I can fit in here right now. Oh, I'm like, I'm panicking. Okay. I'm just going to try and like push through. Can any of these cameras <laughs> see what I'm doing right now? I guess maybe that's why they show you like these tie-dye looking erasers so you don't like feel like yours are gonna look not good because I feel like there's no way to clean this little hole entirely once there's like red stuff in it. Like I'm sure y'all can see, maybe, I don't know, maybe, can you see that? Can you see that? I'm trying to like really, you know, clean it. But I feel like the next clay that we push through there, oh, I'm starting to smell a smell. Okay, I think that's about all we can get in there. Oh my God, look at that. There's some like jammed up in there. I feel like I did the measurement perfectly, you guys, but look. <gasps> You know what? I've been talking and trying to like fill it and everything that I forgot. Hello, we have to put this plunger in probably within the three minutes of time as well. So there we go. Now y'all can see this beautiful strawberry. Okay, I just had to hold it down. Like at first it felt like this was like popping up. But look at that, you guys. Is it gonna be a beautiful strawberry? I'm gonna attempt to just make a yellow smiley face next. And then I wanna make some tie-dye ones. I'm gonna go ahead and take another amount of activator. Ooh, you guys, I forgot to put 
the smiley face which one there he is or the frowny face i hate like honestly like sad face things you know what i'm saying i never understood the appeal of that like anytime there's like a sad face squishy or a sad face like a crying doll i'm like but literally why super nice and easy peel that out and set it off to the side the only thing i'm thinking is i probably shouldn't leave this activator open at all for any amount of time um now let's get oh look at the nice beautiful yellow eraser putty i literally don't even know oh my god this one's like really oily feeling so as usual my only right off the top critique is do they make like refill eraser sets you know what i mean because if not you're gonna have this whole like plastic thing and all the molds what are you gonna do once you run out of all of the compounds granted this looks like it would make a lot of erasers i feel like you're gonna run out of the magical like colored putty stuff long before you're gonna run out of the activator which is kind of funny because you're using equal amounts you know let's stop talking and quickly start mixing yes oh is this gonna be enough yellow <gasps> it's looking mostly gray right now let's start turning it into a tube see i feel like when they say three minutes they mean like literally have even the topper in there within three minutes it only starts to feel like scary once you get it in the tube. I mean, not really scary, right? But it kind of feels like it's starting to harden a little bit once you get to this stage of the game. And look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a beautiful happy face. Oh, it looks like there's, can you see that? I hope when I push down the thing, it's gonna take care of that but it actually like you could I feel like you could see like where I put in one tube and then another tube of the mixing stuff let's see if I take a lid and push that down I hope it's gonna like smooth it out you know what I mean I feel like you can kind of still see the line but there we go we've held it down it's looking good at least I feel like the more like cracked looking side is on the sad face. I kind of wish they would have made all of these elements clear because that's kind of the only thing is that I thought it would be more visually satisfying to like see the eraser stuff like shove through this extruder, you know? But when I was like filming, I just really kept like getting into it. It's very relaxing, you guys. I love DIYs like this, honestly, where I feel like it's more about just having fun and relaxing with the process of like making something versus like are these erasers gonna be beautiful pieces of art when we're done you know I feel like it's just more about like the activity than the result because what I wanted to start doing was mix colors so you can mix like you know blue and red makes purple blue and yellow makes green hello and then what's the other one I tried orange yellow and red makes orange now I will say the positive thing I found out is you can mix any of the colored clay things pretty much as long as you want. Like I was trying to get some cool like shots of just like the clay being mixed so you guys could really see that. And I feel like sometimes I was really trying to mix it to get like an orange or a purple. So I feel like sometimes I spent like three minutes mixing together the colored compounds. Those never seem to start to harden. It's only when you mix the ingredients of the colored compounds with this gray activator compound then you've got to be lightning fast and they say three minutes but honestly if you could do it in like 30 seconds that's probably like what I would shoot for because I made a purple piece of cake I think I did a green snail I made an orange fish and then I wanted to just do the mushroom like I wanted to get like the kind of tie-dyed effect they show on the cover of the box here wow but honestly I don't know how you would get this like tie-dye swirled effect unless it's just like getting mixed pieces from 
like the last eraser you made if that makes any sense because for the mushroom I t I tried to just combine all three colors but not really like mix them together too well but by the time you have to mix the activator in and roll it out it's pretty much mixed so I was kind of hoping for a more tie-dyed effect for the mushroom but what I think we might get is like a purpley gray kind of color that being said I wish that the colors were like a little bit more rich that's kind of my only other complaint and y'all will see in the little clips the purple isn't very vibrant like kind of when you mix the two colors together it turns more like earth tones so it's a very earthy purple a very earthy green which I thought was perfect for the snail and the fish I was trying to get like a proper orange um but I think I can never say it correctly taiyaki that's not how you say it you know the fish like the little like fish cake kind of snack I thought it was like kind of funny that the orange turned out like that kind of like almost brownish orange because maybe it's gonna make it look like one of those anyway you guys I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m it's pretty much exactly 1 p.m 107 right now uh so I will see you guys at 1 p.m tomorrow we will demold our beautiful erasers and we will try and erase with them bye for now we are now 24 hours later and I'm so excited to demold all our erasers and see how they turned out. Okay, so the first one that I made is the strawberry. So let's take this one out first. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is literally if y'all are going to be able to see a line where I shoved in like the first amount of eraser maker putty and then the second amount. Wow, that actually demolded really easy, or at least like the the space for the pencil, you guys. <gasps> oh, this is like, I was kind of nervous, honestly. Like, were the molds gonna be stuck together or something? But look at that. So I did follow up in the instructions and they actually did say like, when you take the erasers out, they might feel slightly moist. And if that happens, just, like rub them off with a paper towel, but they really don't. Right now, my only critique is I feel like I put too much mixture in there because I'm sure you guys can see my erasers have these little, you know, edges, but you know, let's go ahead and put it on a pencil. <gasps> wow. You guys, this was honestly like super fun and relaxing to do. Okay, the next one I made is the happy face. Uh, once again, probably filled the mold too much. Whoop, oh no, see? Sad face, you can kinda see a little line um, where the clay, oh no. <gasps> I feel like I have to remake that one. But luckily I have plenty of putty. So I think that this is the one that I'm actually gonna test and erase with so far. Unless one of these I pull out looks worse. All right, which one did I do next? Oh, birthday cake. Cause I made some purple. Now I remember I was not too wowed with the purple color, but maybe it looks better now that it's dried. What? Nope. <laughs> It's still like not a very vibrant purple, you know? Does this look purple to you guys? Definitely overfilled this mold, but let's see. Look at that. You can kind of just peel it away if you want a little bit more of a nicer finished look. Oh. The next one I made was the fish because I was trying to do orange. Ooh! Guys, this one maybe looks more orange now that it's dried. Ugh, what did I do here? This fish looks kind of strange. I don't know, I almost kind of feel like they could have made this fish look like a little cuter somehow, you know what I mean? Right now, it kind of looks like the sewer monster from the X-Files. Then I'm pretty sure I did green snail Let's take that little guy out. Ooh, see, this is a very earthy looking snail colored clay, in my opinion. And lastly, was like the tie dye effect I was trying to do on 
the mushroom. And what is this gonna look like? I'm actually really, okay, it does look kind of swirly, but like not as vibrant as I feel like they show you on the box. The only way I feel like you could achieve that kind of look is maybe a little bit of what happened to the fish where you can see there was like a little bit of blue probably left in the plunger. And so there's like some blue spots on the orange fish. But how you would get it like actually swirled like this? I don't know, Krayl. I feel like that's clickbait. Moment of truth. I'm gonna try and use the pencil they provided, which is just a regular old number two pencil. And I cleaned up the edges of the smiley face eraser a little bit more. This one is really, it does not look good. Uh, but I'm gonna see how well their eraser kit erases the pencil lead that they provided you with. So let's go ahead and do my standard bunny signature. Let me zoom you guys in and let's try and erase. Okay, um, <laughs> not really all that great, you guys. It's kind of like, the worst, <laughs> the worst kind of eraser in my opinion, because it just leaves these like smudge marks everywhere. Let me see if I can kind of go over it again, but like how much do you want to have to erase? You know what I mean? And also I feel like it's the kind of eraser that leaves that like debris feeling on your page. Look, <gasps> no sad face anymore though. We took right care of that. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, have you ever had that eraser where you really have to like rub the page once you're done erasing? Cause you just kind of feel like you can't get the eraser dust off. I mean, once I did the second pass, there is less smudgy staining. For this, I feel like it's 100% about enjoying and doing the craft and not so much about the functionality of the eraser. I don't know how this stands up to like other specialty pencil topper erasers. I feel like kind of nothing beats like just your standard ye old like pearl eraser or something, you know? Although I have to admit, I have definitely probably been like in school the last time I used an eraser because I literally just don't ever write in pencil. Um, writing in pencil like really bugs me. I always write everything in pen. So besides like the friction eraser pens, I haven't thought about erasing anything in like a lifetime at this point. So I would still give this product two thumbs up, you guys, because honestly, out of a lot of the kits that I've tested over the years, this is something I feel like I would genuinely sit down and make the erasers again. It's very fun and it's very, very relaxing. And I love crafts like that where you don't really have to like put a lot of like mental power <laughs> into like thinking about what you're doing, you know? That to me is the most fun and the most like soothing. And honestly, a lot of these like products like this and kits that we've tested out over the years, I very rarely go back and like do them again, you know? Like one of them that stands out in my mind over the years is like the Girl Scout Easy Bake Oven. I feel like that was kind of a kit that I did over and over again with my friends just because it was like so novel to be able to make like Girl Scout cookies at home. And I would do this one. So that's what I'm trying to say. Even though the eraser is really not good at all, I would still argue that doing the craft is super fun compared to a lot of these things I've tested out over the years. Anyway, you guys, I know this video is super long, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you now. But thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator twangs. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!